Hello, my Virgos. How are you doing, my friends? Uh, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for coming and spending your time with me. I hope that you're having a good Friday. So uh, we're going to get into your reading. So just make sure that um, you have an open mind, and go ahead and don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, okay? So I can bring more videos to uh, Virgos, okay? So let me and let me know if it resonates. Okay, so we're going to get into your reading, and the Gods and Spirits, let's go for Virgo, let me know how Virgo is feeling. Okay, so the cards we're having for you, Virgo, you have a pay attention to the red flags here. You have you deserve love. And you have the wedding card. Let's look here, Virgo, that there's a person that you're thinking about getting engaged with or getting married to or possibly in the future. Um, but, but you don't feel like there's something wrong. There's something off about this person that you're with. There's a feeling of not sure. Is something that is kind of making you feel uneasy and not not making you feel um, like you're doing the right thing, okay? Because this person has gave gave you some type of red flag signals that is kind of alarming you a little bit. So yes, definitely pay attention to those red flags. That is your intuition and your spirit talking to you, okay? So let's see what this is about. Your overall energy, please. And if you like the content, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you like a personal reading, it's $35, okay, for your own personal situation. It's about a 35 to 45 minute read for three questions, okay? All right, so your overall energy is the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is saying there's an opportunity for mental clarity, clearness or something that's going on. And there's an opportunity. Remember, all aces mean there's an opportunity, free will, but don't miss the opportunity, okay? there's It's just an offer there for you to think about it. Uh, so just kind of think about their communication can be part of that, but also have a clear understanding is what I'm hearing. Having that really 100% clear understanding. Not to be blind by love. Make sure you know... And follow your intuition of how you're feeling uh, because you deserve the right type of love, okay? Okay, so here we have the Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse. You have the Hermit card in reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking going on here. So you feel like you don't want to abandon this situation, this relationship. You don't want to, it's part of you, you don't want to get out of it. But you're not sure this is the one for you. Why is that, Virgo? Why is this, what has this person done to make you feel uneasy? Now, this could be for the cross watcher. If you're watching for a Virgo, but I'm reading for Virgo, so take it as it resonates. Um, you're starting to feel very uneasy about this person. You might be getting engaged, you might be get already engaged, you might be getting married, or you have plans to get married with this person, you're in a deep commitment, but there's something very disturbing here that's bothering you. And um, you just don't want to kind of like abandon and give up and walk off. And so you're doing a lot of thinking here, and you're trying to come out of that. You're trying to get out of that stage. Yeah, so the Four of Swords, yeah, you're really in this mindset, you're not sure. There's something about this person that's disturbing you. Let me know in the comments uh, what this person's doing to you, how they're making you feel, and why you're not sure if you want to continue this relationship or not. That is the Five of Wands. Okay. It's like, um, yeah, there's an internal battle here that you were going through. 
and you had to really take some time back to really stop and think if this is something you wanted and you don't want to start a fight and you don't want to start arguments and confrontational but you know in your heart there's something missing from you there's something missing there was a breakup here recently or before and with this uh, five of wands and you had a two I uh, mean the four of pentacles you know you just didn't want to be confrontational and fight and have all these problems going on and then you have the four of pentacles and there's something that you're holding on to and there's something that you want to be stable with Okay, you just, there, this is like a, yeah, this is insecurity here, like a, not insecurity as a, in yourself, you're insecure about, you don't, you're not sure if this is going to work out or not, because of stability, you're wanting that stability, and you don't want to kind of bring up that issue, but here's a higher font that, uh, in the reverse, that this can signal, if this marriage goes through, you feel like it's not going to work, and you also had the two of pentacles now the two of pentacles means you're juggling something right that you have in a juggling between your mindset if this is going to work or not and that's the juggling part you're not sure about marrying this person or being with this person in a commitment now if you're not married yet or you're just engaged or you're in a serious commitment you're thinking about getting married in the future you're not 100 percent sure this is the right person to love you because there's something missing in your heart there's a link missing there's something that is telling you this is not the right person for you. So this is kind of like a something you're going to have to really debate on. But it feels like you're with a juggling here um, in the reverse here saying that you don't want to do this. You don't. There's something you don't want to do. Let's see what that's about. Virgo. You deserve love. What's your advice in a wedding? Alright. Mm. It looks like this is an opportunity that you don't want to... There's something like in here in the love life. You're this, it's like not... Like I said earlier, it's like a, this is not the right person you should be marrying. And you're... Even if you feel like this person is a good person. But there's something about this person that's not making you feel loved. And the Ace of Cups in reverse is saying... You're not sure about this person and you want and you feel like you want to you know maybe this person does some things that's just kind of not bringing calmness to your life and you just want to get away from that you want to do like you want to that further you're looking for that deep person that fulfills your heart here you you know maybe you're marrying for some reason okay but there's it seems like here you're looking for the king of cups and the lover's card. You're looking for some passion here. You're looking for, I don't want, you know, there's some troubles that you were going through with this person. But this is what you're looking for. You're not getting, you're feeling like you're going to marry the wrong person. Or you're going to, you're with the wrong person. Okay, so let's clarify your future with it. Because, yeah, this is something you want to move away from. It's not, you're not ready to be with this person. But there's something, like, inside you that you're missing. You want that deep passion. You want that that connection. You want that, in this person that you're with or or you just broke up with, you feel like, I'm this marriage won't last. 
I belong with the King of Cups. I want somebody who's going to fulfill my needs. And I want somebody who's going to make me feel like I'm on fire in love every day with hot passion. And maybe this person bores you in the bed. Is what I'm hearing. They bore you. They don't bring that excitement to you. They don't make you feel like, you know, when you make love with them, that they, they don't take you to the universe. They're not satisfying you. And they're not giving you the kind of nurturing love that you're looking for. Like you like that romantic, that that really strong connection. And you feel like you're marrying this person for the wrong reason. You're looking for that King of Cups. That's going to take you to the universe kind of love, you know. Ooh, okay, fiery here. Mm -hmm. I just got some energy here. <laughs> Telling me about it. So let's see. Okay, what's these two want to say? Oh my goodness. Look at that. The King of Cups came out again. What did I just say? And the Ten of Wands. Okay. You don't want to. What I'm saying, you don't want to be with this person. You don't want to marry this person, but you feel like you, you should. You're, that King of Cups is here. And you're, you want, it's kind of like the notebook story. It's like you were carrying this weight to just be with somebody, but the true person you want to be with was somebody else. It's not that. Yeah, the notebook love story here. Might have to title that. Yeah. You're feeling like you're with the wrong person. You're going to make some regrets. You're, you're I think you're in love with somebody else. Or you're thinking about somebody else. This is confirmation. Okay, what else are we should we need to talk about Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, Virgo. Okay. It came out. Oh my goodness, you have the fool and the devil. Yeah, this is not the right person for you. You're having regrets with this person you're thinking about marrying or in relationship with. You just want a new direction. You want to be on your own. You want to find that passionate lover, car soulmate energy, that feeling of love that you you feel like you're going to... That's why you don't want to get married. You don't want to marry this person, do you, Virgo? You don't see this person in your future. You just think they're kind of toxic and their energy is just draining you and making you feel like you're just going to be like a boring life. Not, you don't have the passion. But somebody you coming soon or you already got somebody in mind. They're not treating you. I have a second guess about this relationship. Yeah, so here you are. You're not fighting for this, and you don't want to be with this. You don't want to be in the stuck energy. You just want out of it. You want to go in your new direction. You don't want to be fighting for this. You don't want a conflict. You don't want problems. And you just feel like you want to get out of this situation. You don't want to get married. You don't want to be with this person or somebody else out there that you feel like is going to be better for you. And sexually, passionately, give you the love that you're really craving. You're not getting the craving. You're not going to get it with this person you're with. Or... It's going to end up in a divorce. Because mm -hmm. you're not putting your love to this person. You don't want to give them your whole cup of love. I'm not going to think about this. You're with the wrong person. So I hope I'm saving somebody from getting, getting married to that. Don't want to be married to this person. Okay, because this is a situation like you want the dream wedding, you want it all, but, you know, it's always the fantasy of getting married in a white dress and all those things, but you're starting to see that once you get married, like, and then what? You feel like you're going to be with somebody who's going to not satisfy you and your emotional energy and your sexual energy. And you're worried about that. And you feel this toxic that this is going to cause problems. And this is going to cause a breakup and a divorce. So follow your heart, Virgo. Follow your heart. A love, a home, a family, trustworthy, socket information. So that's what you're doing. If you're in a relationship right now, the cards are saying don't marry this person. They're completely wrong with you. 
Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Yes, trying too hard to please others. You, if you're already engaged and you've set a date and everything and all that is in the works, it, it's very hard to, to it's, you're trying to please other people when you know this is the wrong person for you. You're starting to see things in this person you don't like. So Virgo, um, you really need to think about this before you take the leap, okay? Because... It looks like you're, you're marrying the wrong person. You deserve the love that you... If you're going to marry somebody, at least marry somebody that you're going to fall in love with. Someone that you do maybe care about this person. But this is not the person you want to marry. You want to marry somebody that's got some high passion, some deep love that's going to bring out the um, energy in you. And there's two King of Cups here. And that's the confirmation that there's somebody else that you want to connect with. Maybe intentionally you did meet somebody and and you feel like you need to get out of this marriage to so you can be with this person. So take it as it resonates, my Virgos. Uh, if you like this reading, please uh, give me a thumbs up so I can bring more videos to you for Virgos group, okay? Or Virgo family. And uh, go ahead and click subscribe as well to show the support and love. And uh, if you'd like a personal reading, it, please look in the description box and if you have it if this is a very this is a very serious problem if this is you if it resonated so and you can contact me and send me an email and i'll be glad to do a personal reading for 35 okay 35 dollars so i look forward to let me know forward to, forward i'm sorry forward to hear from you and if you leave me a comment in the chat if this resonated this is really don't make a mistake virgo you're marrying the wrong person, I feel. Or you're with the wrong person. And you need to get out and be with the person that you really, truly love. Because, or meet. Because I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> this is what you're after. Okay, I'm sorry to mess up the cards, but you're after that King of Cups with that passion and love. Okay? And this is going to cause a divorce because this is always going to be forever in your mind. That's what you're wanting. Don't marry the wrong person. Okay. Life is too short to be with the wrong person. So even if you care and you do love them, but this is not the person you want to be with all your life, I don't think. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for coming to my channel. And I will see you later. Take care. Send me a love and light. Bye.